Hello everybody, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com and I want to talk to you today about using video in Pro Tools. I've been doing a lot of video work lately for my HSC Production Club students and um, sometimes that requires me importing that into Pro Tools to add extra bits of audio and things to the video or if I want to doctor up the audio a bit uh, I much prefer to do that in Pro Tools than anything else. So how do you do it? Well it's a pretty simple task, just come up here to File, Import and instead of audio, which is what you usually do, we'll come to video. Now this window comes up and we go and we find the video file we want. We'll use this multi uh, Easy Drummer multi-output video. Now it asks you where to put it and we're just going to put it at the start of the session and we also want to import the audio file along with the video. And here it is. It's going to ask us where we want to save the audio file. We'll put it in the audio files folder and it's copying that now. Now you'll notice there's a window here with the video. Now this window is a part of Pro Tools, so you're actually watching video in Pro Tools. And uh, unfortunately, they don't really give you the option to resize it. Well, they do, but it's a little bit jerky. But anyway, if we hit play in Pro Tools now, you'll notice that this video will start playing. And you'll normally hear audio if I had it routed to the output. So, hey, everybody. ooh, that's loud. Hey everybody, Joe Gilder here from HomestudioCorner.com. It has been a while. So if we look over into the, uh, we'll put this aside here, we'll see that it, Pro Tools basically created two tracks. It created a video track, and then it also brought in the corresponding stereo audio track. So if for some reason we didn't like the way this audio sounded, we actually add some things and make it even better. We could come in here and throw an EQ on there and do all that sort of thing. And then we can rebounce it out as a video file once again. So we want to roll off some of the bottom end, boost the top end, whatever whatever you want to do. So that's totally possible now. And as you can see, as you click through the, the timeline here, you'll see the video here will change as well. Snare is on three. So what are the uses with this before? Perhaps someone has a video they've shot and they want you to compose music for it. Well, here's a great way to do it. Even if they don't have any audio on that video, you can import it here and then go and create all your tracks and start recording audio to go along with the video. So it's very simple. Now you can't do any audio editing or video editing inside of Pro Tools LE. Uh, as it stands you can get a DV toolkit that lets you do that kind of thing. But it strictly will let you play back video and sync up your audio to that. And then when you're done, simply come to the bounce menu like you've done countless times before, but instead of bounce to disk, you'll do bounce to QuickTime Movie. And what that'll let you do is basically just pick uh, your settings for outputting um, your audio. The new audio that you've created will be tied together with the video and produce a new QuickTime file. Now there is a cool trick. As you notice, you can't select what kind of file you want. If you're kind of video savvy and you want some options, if you hold down Control Option Command on the Mac, and I believe it's Control Alt maybe window, the window button on PC, I'm not completely sure, and click on the Bounce to QuickTime Movie, you'll have this option. Now, at first it just gives you where you want your audio to come from, but if you click on Options here, it gives you all of the QuickTime options that you normally have in something like iMovie or QuickTime. So you can come in and select your compression format, your quality, how you want it to encode, all of those cool options, and you can even um, you can even come in and select the sound settings that you want as well. So all these different options, whether you want it to be lossless encoding um, and all these other things that I really don't know what they are. So <laughs> hopefully uh, you may know what that is better than I do. So that's pretty cool. I, I learned that trick from another blog. I can't even remember where it was now. But um, if you hold down those three modifier keys, you can do a, export a lot of different options uh, of your video. Now for most of us audio guys, we may never do that. Uh, you may only encounter it once or twice over the course of your audio career, but it's good to know that it's there. All right, thanks for watching. Again, this is Joe from HomestudioCorner.com. If you have any questions on that, feel free to leave a comment over on the website, HomestudioCorner.com, and I look forward to seeing you back around here soon. Thanks. Oh, 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 oh.